what's going on everybody welcome back i hope all is well let's cook some food and from the title you know what i'm going to make so let's get straight to it So for the rice and peas i'm using cow peas now i got this from jamaica if you don't have access to this you can use the regular kidney beans all right make sure you rinse the peas remove any bad peas and debris now after that you want to add your garlic your onion water salt thyme and allow this to cook until tender Once the pot comes to a boil, I'm going to add some additional water and this is what we would call sinking the peas. As you can tell, some of the peas are floating. So you're basically adding extra water, giving the peas enough to cook. Alright, so let's go ahead and sort the veggie chunks. This is the brand. I got this from Jamaica. But honestly, you can use whatever veggie chunks or soya chunks brand available to you. I'm going to cover this with some hot water you can choose to boil this as well for about 10-15 minutes all right but i'm just going to allow it to soak for a few minutes or until i'm ready to use it so while the peas cook and the veggie chunk salt let's prepare the pasta for the mac and cheese to my pot i added salt all-purpose seasoning and i'm going to bring this to a boil make sure you prepare your pasta based on the direction on the package and i like to cook mine a minute or two less only because once it goes in the oven it's going to cook again So once the macaroni cook, drain it and set it aside, let's check on the peas. So at this point, the peas cook. I'm going to remove the thyme stem, add some coconut milk, water, fresh thyme, scallions, scotch bonnet pepper, ginger, allspice, all-purpose seasoning, salt and allow this to come to a boil. Most times I like to add a little bit of sugar to my rice and peas, personal preference, but you don't have to, all right? It's completely optional. So once you've seasoned your pot, cover it to boil for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, make sure that you go ahead and wash your rice. I'm using some long grain parboiled rice, but you can use whatever rice of your choice. Once you've added the rice, give it a good stir so everything is evenly distributed. I'm going to allow this to steam over a medium heat for about 20 to 25 minutes. So while the rice cook, let's prepare the sauce for the mac and cheese. So here I'm adding some vegan butter. I'm also going to add flour and allow this to cook for about 2 minutes. So before we get to the next clip, which is right here, Allow the flour to cook for about 2 minutes, then you can gradually add the milk. Alright, make sure that you're using plain, unsweetened plant milk. So now I'm going to add some vegan cream cheese, cheddar cheese, sliced cheese and allow that to melt, followed by some seasonings. Make sure that you season this to your liking. That's it for the sauce. I'm going to turn off the stove and add the macaroni. Mm -hmm. 
so this is nicely mixed i'm going to transfer it to a greased baking pan top it off with some more cheese nutritional yeast i'm also going to cover it with some foil paper i find that when i cover with the foil paper the cheese melts better so i'm going to allow this to bake at 350 degrees fahrenheit for about 30 minutes and then i'm going to remove the foil paper and allow it to bake for an additional 10 minutes Let's check on the rice and as you can tell most of that liquid is reduced so I'm going to lightly stir this, cover with foil paper and allow this to steam for an additional 15 minutes. While the rice steam, let's move on to the veggie chunks. What I'm going to do is to drain the liquid and squeeze out as much of it from the chunks. So I added some additional water, room temperature water to the chunks just to rinse it off a bit and I'm going to do the same thing, drain the liquid and squeeze out as much of it. I'm going to lightly season the chunks with Jamaican Valley Jerk seasoning. I will put a link in the description where you can purchase them or you can use whatever jerk seasoning of your choice. I also went ahead and prepared some fresh seasoning. I have onion, scallion, garlic, tomato, thyme, scotch bonnet pepper, and bell pepper. Here I'm sauteing the onion, garlic, tomato, and scallion. I'm going to allow them to saute for about a minute or two, followed by some more jerk seasoning and the veggie chunks. At this point, make sure to season this to your liking. I'm going to cover and allow it to simmer down for about 15 minutes. Let's move on to the string beans. Here I'm adding some coconut milk. I'm also going to add water, salt and pepper, onion and garlic powder. Make sure to cook this to your preferred texture. I like when my string beans have a bit of a crunch, so about 5 to 10 minutes. That's it my people, everything is prepared and ready to be served. this plate of food was delicious 10 out of 10 thank you so much for watching and as always i hope you try and enjoy the recipe another year is coming to an end i just want to say thank you all so much for the continuing love and support i really appreciate it the ingredients will be listed in the description so make sure to check that out thanks again for watching and until next time bless upon yourself